Potential is really focused on hand-holding entrepreneurs from the process of the idea when they have that spark of an idea um, and working with them step by step until they transform that idea into a solid opportunity. Um, and to do that we have a blend of consulting, training and coaching that is delivered to help achieve that result. When we were starting up, we didn't have any support. We had to do the mistakes the hard way. We had to lose a lot of money. We had to lose a lot of time. At least now we have an understanding of what needs to be done, uh, the specifics of the region over here, what to expect and what not to expect. And, uh, we have some good learnings uh, from the failures that we've failed along the way. Um, and we have some great successes, uh, which we are expanding and you know, working on. We've been involved in people development for a long time um, and what we found a positive, very positive element in entrepreneurs is that they are intrinsically motivated. They're motivated by themselves. If we're able to hit a chord with them and to let people, the entrepreneurs feel that we are benefiting them, um, you start to find that they you know, take in a lot of knowledge, take in a lot of uh, information. They, are, they put the extra hours, they put the extra effort and that's a key essential ingredient in entrepreneurship. So our aim is to help them cross that bridge and to ensure that we help them uh, address those challenges and solidify what they've learned and put it into practicing what they're implementing. What we're trying to do is to, uh, to put the glue amongst these different elements to support entrepreneurs in a fast-paced way. We have a difficulty in uh, at a start in getting to the entrepreneurs because of these many activities going on. So entrepreneurs are becoming quite, you know, uh, distracted and wouldn't know where to focus on. Which, what's the fastest route for them to really start up? We've got to try to let people open up to talk about their ideas and to let them you know, not feel scared about someone stealing the idea because there are thousands and millions of ideas out there. But only the truly um, well-executed ideas that can be translated into business opportunities have the chance of sustainable survival you know, moving forward. It's important to um, encourage people to rise above the specifics of these countries and to target that mass market. Uh, because that's where the opportunities become sizable, that's where the, the potential is highest, that's where we will get the most interest, and that's where it'll be nice to fail. There's a lot of entrepreneurship happening across the region, uh, which is a copy kind of entrepreneurship, which isn't bad. I mean, it's still good. It could generate business. It's a good step. Um, but again, we want to encourage people to really look even further than that. Why not innovate? Why not come up with some new things? The good thing about the tech uh, world and the, you know, mo the modern world is that it's very low cost to come up with things, to innovate. That's the kind of thing we, uh, we need to be pushing and encouraging uh, for people to think big, innovate, um, and not go for the easy kind of entrepreneurship work only. You know, that's fine, that's good, but we also need a lot more of the innovative parts, the innovative things, especially since we have, like we said, these big markets. We've got now in the pipeline over 200 entrepreneurs that are going through the programs at different phases in different countries. To some of the stars that have already come up, we have a handful of good stars, about 10 to 12 good stars. Uh, some have been funded, some uh, have already started up with their, using their own money. Um, so we help them also seek the right kind of funding. And if they can start up on their own, we encourage them to do that in the beginning, especially if they're building a prototype. Studies show that there are two kinds of um, entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs that go into entrepreneurship because of the necessity that they need to go into entrepreneurship and others that go into entrepreneurship because of, they see an opportunity and jump into entrepreneurship. Now there is much bigger uh, value creation that comes from those that jump into an opportunity rather than those that do it from a necessity perspective. And this is I think an important lesson for the region as well that there's a lot of countries which do have good opportunities. They're well off, comfortable, 
um, and their people, their teams can take some risks on some really innovative things, some really wow things. Because, and that's what would generate the biggest you know, value. Now, uh, anything that's going to happen in the developing poorer countries, we would be helping a lot increase, you know, if we got bigger size of entrepreneurs, uh, numbers in those countries, we would help increase and uh, the standard of living in those countries. But the true huge innovations might not come from that segment. It would come more from the segment of people that can uh, take some risks. Thank you.